Hello, assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another tutorial on Hackintosh. So it's been again a long long gap between the videos and I'm really sorry about that. But I wanted to make a new video but due to some circumstances I was not able to make video timely. So now from now onward I will try to be punctual in making videos. So today this, this video is basically on Clever Configurator and how to use SMBIOS. So previously I was making videos on Clever Configurator that was a brief, uh, long descriptive videos but I thought that that would be kind of uh, difficult to understand what's going on so from now onwards I will make a video specifically on a specific area of Clever Configurator for people to understand it better. So let me know in the comments below if you want to learn specifically about any specific thing of Clever Configurator it would be great to know. So let's start with this. Uh, video and the thing I'm going to discuss is SMBIOS. So in start, let's understand what SMBIOS basically is. You can say it's a masking method that Clever Configurator use to mask your system as a iMac, Mac, Mac Pro or MacBook or you can say MacBook Air. So basically your system is described as a Mac to the Mac OS X or you can say Mac OS 10 or anything you want to call the operating system of Apple, the Apple OS X. So basically, SMBIOS will define how different components of the Mac OS X or Mac OS Serra or High Serra will run on your Hackintosh and it will be the most important part of your config.plst. So there are many different things that you have to consider while making the config.plst with your Clever Configurator. So the first thing is first, if you are using a MacBook or you can say if you are using a laptop, then you have to mask your laptop as a MacBook machine. It can be a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or just MacBook. So the first thing is uh, that. And the second thing is that try to find the most close sample of MacBook with your system. For example, if you're using a fourth generation Intel Core i5 then try to find that in this config.plst here and if you're confused how to get this area all you have to do is you have to click on your Clever Configurator directly go to the SMBIOS so before going to SMBIOS you have to do one more thing as well you have to go to mount and you have to mount your partition in which your OS X or Mac OS Serra or High Serra is installed and then you have to mount your config.plst so right now, if I mount it, uh, it will show all the details of my system. So let's try to mount that and I will show you some of the SMBIOS details of my system. Just the serial number and board serial number are hidden due to the iMessages and Facebook thing. And I also sell these board serial number and serial number or you can say ROM or MLB for the Hackintoshers so they can use iMessages and FaceTime. After this, uh, you can see the different components, different described things about my config.plst. So right now, if I select 18.1, you can see everything is changed. And now this will try to mask my system based on these configuration. So I prefer to use iMac. 18.3 if you're using a i7 or i5 Kaby Lake system. So basically 18.1, 2 and 3 are for Kaby Lake system but the most compatible one among this is 18.3 or you can say 18.3. And the second thing you have to do is try to find the compatible motherboard state. For example if you're using a Xeon motherboard, a motherboard which is compatible with low Xeon processor, you should go with the Mac Pro instead of iMac or MacBooks or Mac Minis or anything else. And if you're using like server kind of machine then you have to choose among these X server 1, 2 and 3. But these X servers are kind of backward and you can say old compared to Mac Pro 6 and if you are using a Xeon latest processors you can mask the Mac Pro 6 on it and remember that if you use a Mac Pro 6 on a normal Z270 or Z170 or Z97 or 87 processor the Mac Pro 6 dot one or comma one will give you an error at the start it will not display the proper graphics uh, configuration and there will be hell of a errors using the Mac Pro so to make the things clear I will first tell you which configuration is good and most compatible with your system 
So if you're using a processor uh, or you, if you're using a laptop and you have to select among the MacBooks and depending on the CPU, you, you can see a list of different CPUs here and the basic model matters, not the code with that. For example, if you're using something close to a core 2 du processor, that does not mean you have to have a T7500 to select a T7500 and does not mean that your frequency should be 2.2 to select that. It's just the cool to do that matters most. And after that, if you want to make it even more precise, you can select the models as well. But this T does matter. So for example, if you have cool to do T7600 or cool to do T7300 or something with T, and it's a core to do and the frequency is different you can select among these and if you have a core to do p model you can select these but depending on the p8 or p7 this is the generation basically so you can select the most close generation or you can select even the exact generation but the rest of the thing does not matter only the correct generation and the closest model the frequency and the old digits of the model are not needed to match and then if you're using a m processor intel m then you can select the core m processor that will be like more compatible than if you select an intel core to do instead of m and then there is m5 and other thing so try to match the most but leave the frequency away there's no concern with the frequency and then the core i5 7y54 that means it's a different kind of a processor i5 but it's like more energy saving than if you have an, a model matching this config you, you can select that and after that you can go with the mac pro if your machine is more heavy duty or you can say uh, a machine with a discrete or separate graphic card installed you can select a mac pro then down here the models basically explain that how old or how new your system is so you can see a different uh, options available here including the core to do u p l and even the i5s i7s and m processor qm processor try to match the q m and t and p and u and try to match the first digits of the processor because these first digits basically explain the generation of a processor to clear it up first digit after the processor model means i3 i7 and i5 the thing that matters is the first digits here the i4 47 52 63 so the first digits are basically generation so 2415 is basically second generation 267 is second 2860 is second then 3 is the third generation and so on fourth fifth sixth and seventh so generation matters and after that the unit at the end the digit or you can say alphabet at the end that u hq and hq and m explains the processors trade off between frequency or you can say speed and energy efficiency so if a processor is m that means it's more energy efficient u is energy efficient hq is i think high power processor all of these things matter then there are um mac mini options available as well but these are also like if you have a real small pc that's a mini atx or micro atx system then you can go with the mac mini and then comes the most used and most versatile or you can say most easy to configure sm bios which are the imax so if you're using a z87 chipset and or z97 chipset or h87 or h97 chipset you can use imac 14.2 it's one of the most compatible SM BIOS for Z87 and H87 and H97. So for the fourth generation, the most compatible is 14.2. It helps to load hell of a different drivers without needing any patching and stuff. And then if you're using the fifth generation, you can go with 16.1 and then you can go with 16.2 as well. But if you're using seventh generation, you can go probably with 18.3. There are many people who are using 7th generation processor and the SM BIOS they are using is 17.1 but to be honest my system works better if I use 18.3 instead of 17.1 but still there are chances for the 6th generation SM BIOS to load the 7th generation one so and if you're using a 6th generation CPU that surely means you should go with iMac 17.1 or comma one then with the Xeon processor you can select one matching closest with your hardware and I would prefer you go with Mac Pro 6 comma one or Mac Pro 3 comma one these are the most compatible ones 
then X servers I have no idea about X server but still they can be used with system with dual CPUs even the Mac Pros are used with dual CPUs but I think X servers are like kind of obsolete now or you can say old enough then here is the different configurations available or different uh, add additions you can do with your SM BIOS instead of the default ones you can add few your personal uh, additions to enable iMessages, FaceTime and different components of your hardware so to enable iMessages and FaceTime you must have real serial number and real board serial number and a real ROMB which is available here ROM and MLB numbers so you have to have these four things from original iMac it does not matter which iMac you are using and which iMac the code came from you can use MacBook 6.1 board serial number and serial number and ROMB ROM and MLB on a Mac Pro 6.1 or iMac 18.3 all you need is a correct serial number board number ROM and MLB then here there is the board type Board type is 10 because you are using a motherboard and if you're using a Mac Pro you have to be have to select 11 and Clever Bootloader does that automatically you don't need to do that. So if you have a CPU attached to your motherboard then you should go with the board type 11 and you have to click trust so the Clever will load all the definitions or all the things you add here and it will not add anything extra. It will not modify anything on the config.plst on its own if you click the trust and that's kind of not a good choice at the start and then mobile area is to even use to trick your system to make you know that it's using a power supply or it's not using a power supply or you can say it's using a battery or it's not using a battery so mobile means it's a laptop device then here you can add different memory frequencies or you can say different detail about your RAM or memory so if you don't want to add anything you can just leave it Clever does it automatically but if you're having any error you can add that details here but remember don't add anything for the empty slot don't make an addition for an empty slot and uh, what is left is the slots AAPL injection that's again a high-end thing and I will explain that in another video as well so after that we can go for the channels if your motherboard have four dim slots you can use dual channel if you had two dim slots you can use single for 16 use quadruple and then the slot numbers and for example if i'm using four slots and i have two rams installed in it that means it's a dual channel and uh, also don't forget to update your clever configurator timely so it's really, really important to have your clever configurator with all the updates on the latest model and you can even check that your clever bootloader is updated or not just go to install and update clover and click check now and it will check if you're using the latest clever model or not so if it's 4318 is the latest and I go settings and I check that mine is 4301 as well. So be on the latest model. It's most beneficial thing for your Hackintosh to make it more stable and powerful. So that's all for this video guys. I hope I was able to explain the SM BIOS correctly. And if you still have any question queries, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I will try my best to answer almost all the questions. But sometimes I'm kind of busy. So I just give out some questions and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family who are trying to make a hack and tosh as well. And if you want to help me more, then you can help me on Patreon by giving the most generous donations of yours. And that's all for this video guys. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.